In this video, we're going to look at how to add and subtract decimals. So first, let's take a look at the rule for adding and subtracting decimals. Step one, we line up the decimal points vertically. Step two, we add or subtract the numbers we line up, just uh, as if they were whole numbers. And step three, uh, place the decimal point uh, in the answer and whether um, so we're gonna line up the decimal point in the answer also and uh, so let's take a look at the first example uh, 2.37 plus 1.9 so notice the decimal points are lined up the reason we want to line up the decimal point is because of the place values so the this 2 and this 1 they both mean once so we have we we make sure we add uh two the ones and the ones and this three and then nine they both mean tenths so if we line up the decimal point of course the the decimal uh, place to the right one place to the right of decimal point uh is uh, how many tenths so we adding three tenths and nine tenths now we have the seven which is hundredths and, and we are we don't have anything here so if you want you can put a zero here i mean you don't have to if there's nothing it just means zero so now we can um, do the same thing for subtraction line up the decimal point again the reason for doing that is because we want to add or subtract the digits with the same place values like ones and ones tenths and tenths and tenths and hundredths and hundredths okay so now we're going to um, after we lining up, we're going to do step two, which is going to add those digits lining up, just like whole numbers. Just You can ignore the decimal point temporarily, or you subtract them. So we're going to add a seven and zero to get seven, three and a nine to get 12, but the little one we're going to put on top of two. And then we're going to add a one, two, and a one to get a four. And notice in the final step, you also going to move down, bring down that decimal point in the answer. So this is going to be um, lined up with the two decimal points we had. So same thing uh, with the subtraction. So if you want to put a zero there to help you, so we're going to do seven minus zero, well, seven minus nothing, that gives us seven. And three minus nine, it's not enough. So we're going to borrow from the two ones. So if we borrow one from two, that's gonna reduce two down to one. But if we want to borrow one uh, from this two, and it's gonna be uh, adding a 10 to three because this place value of three is three tenths and the one equals uh, 10 tenths. So adding a 10 to three, that's gonna increase that three to 13. So I'm gonna cross out to that uh, three there and replace it with 13. So now we're going to uh, subtract 9 from 13 that gives us 4 and the decimal point you can go ahead and bring it down and 1 minus 1 gives us 0 so the answer is 0. 0.47